in the saddle again. It's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for your basic Sorganogs. Yeah, I took a little bit of rest. I wanted to uh, kind of heal up, uh, uh, make sure we're not burning out around here. We're creating some great stuff uh, around Sorgatron Media, SorgatronMedia.com. And, uh, and and it was Black Friday, of course, over the weekend. And uh, I don't know how many people know that I also am a proprietor of IndieWrestling.us. I, I can't remember the last time we talked about it on this show. Uh, which is really my kind of, can we call it a retail play? I guess so. Uh, uh, just a place to sell uh, the uh, uh, a lot of the stuff that we make around here and a lot of stuff that we, we distribute for other groups. Uh, so, you know, with, uh, the work that we do with the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and of course, a lot of the documentaries that we've done over the years, including Finding Zach Gallon and Montreal Theory and the, the Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table, and, and even uh, Refereeing 101 with uh, former WWE referee uh, Jimmy Corderas, uh, a nice uh, session that we had with him. And, um, and, and, it's the first time we've hit Black Friday, and I've done Black Friday before. Uh, usually, I just put up a big sale over the weekend. Uh, it, previously, we had the story integrated at SorgatronMedia.com, and uh, split it out a few months ago for for branding purposes, so we can concentrate more, like very much like we did this this past weekend. So uh, I set it up with uh, you know, it's nice. I can do coupon codes. I can I can set up a, another thing for for DVDs. Uh, for the most part, and uh, give people the option to do that, that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't think anybody, the, the, you know, I've been kind of trying to phase out DVDs because it's just the overhead in doing them one off, like the way we've been doing them just doesn't work. And it really pushing for the digital. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll give a carrot to, to the DVD people, right? And uh, I, I brought back the buy two, get one, you know, free. So you get basically get three for 30 bucks, which was usually a very popular thing back in the day when we just did DVDs. Right. And, uh, but then, you know, they got to spend the next week, uh, you know, making all the DVDs and, you know, the catalog is deep with IWC. So we've been, um, working on that, but this entire weekend, I don't think there's a single DVD, uh, purchase. There was, uh, all digital downloads, a lot of new names, a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of new hits, a lot of new signups for the newsletter. And I think it was uh, went a long way for us uh, kind of getting the word out there of, of IndieWrestling.us. And so there was a few strategies that we did to, to do this. First of all, you know, we are already very much incorporating Tweet Jukebox uh, to, you know, for the matches and things that we have on the site, tagging a lot of the wrestlers that are involved. In. I mean, we have people on, on the site, you know, from... Uh, you know, people in Ring of Honor to people in TNA to former WWE legends. Bret Hart is on on some of the stuff, some favorably, some not. Um, you know, Virgil, you know, etc. So we've taken a lot of those and plugged those into the jukebox, and uh, you know, just randomize every so often. Uh, hey, check out this show, and these people are in it. And so much of our reach for the indie wrestling uh, Twitter account is because of those people being tagged. We're seeing retweets and stars all the time. I know Ray Rowe, good, good, great guy from the area that uh, now is in Ring of Honor, but we've seen him come up over the years, some some 10 years ago here in the Pittsburgh area, originally from Cleveland. And uh, and, and every time uh, one of his matches pops up, and I'm starting to stick with a lot of older ones, like him against Her um, Hernandez that was in TNA and Lucha Underground from a while back before... Uh, Hernandez was probably getting on TV, but not not Ray Road just yet. You know, stuff like that, and that gets out there, and and that leads to, you know, the stats that I'm seeing. You know, we're we're still it's still a uh, Twitter account, at, uh, and it's US Indie Wrestling. If you want to follow it on Twitter, um, it's still a you know it's still a, a Twitter account that only has um, maybe a couple hundred of. Uh, of uh, users on it as I'm looking at it now, but still the engagement is through the roof. Um, and I'm honestly not being very good with the conversation with that account either. It's a lot of auto tweets, which is kind of not the greatest thing to do. Uh, and, and again, it has 154 followers, but there are plenty of people sharing this and clicking through and uh, it, it's getting a lot of awareness, which is really, really nice. And, uh, and, and it's really taking advantage of it over the weekend. 
what, what did we do for the digitals? We did a uh, coupon code actually for uh, digital downloads. And again, I seen you know stuff that's been on the site for a couple of months that has not sold one copy was going out the door finally. Again, I think this was a nice introduction to the site for a lot of people. And typically, on the back end, uh, one of the nice things is uh, <laughs> I try to take the weekend off, right? I, it's a holiday weekend. I, I, I hit things pretty hard around here and say, no, yo, we're going to turn off for a little bit. You know, let the batteries recharge. Let the creative juices recharge a little bit. And uh, we're going to come back, you know, full steam when, when, when we come back the next week, as we are right now. And uh, but typically I'm kind of providing tech support throughout the entire weekend. And that's kind of the only task that I allow myself to have, because I mean, somebody buys something and they get a, a you know, a, a digital download doesn't work or something like that. We're well, going to take care of it. You know, I, I, I believe wholeheartedly in that, in that uh, making sure we have top notch responsive customer service, which is me, at least as long as I can scale me to that. And I, and I understand at a certain point, and I hope we get to that point where I will have to be more than just me. Uh, but uh, but typically, I've I've sat there at Thanksgiving, like on the phone, on my on my iPhone, saying, "Okay, gonna have to fix this download, resend the email, you know, kind of thing." You know, and there was only one thing that came across my desk of all the sales, and, and it was a pretty significant amount of sales this past week, which I'm very very proud of. Um, and only one fix. So this new store is 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 working over, or maybe they just didn't find all the all the bad shows. I don't know <laughs> because you have a lot on there. We have a lot on there between the shows and the in the single matches and everything. Um, but uh, definitely, I think it was a long way to help establish this. It is the best uh, couple of days that we've had on the site. Uh, for sales, uh, well, uh, definitely since the inception of IndieWrestling.us, certainly since um, the opening of, of the other digital store on SorgatronMedia.com that precluded it. Um, and, uh, and and I think it's pretty cool. I, I think it's cool that we're, we're kind of getting that spot and getting that awareness. And uh, and again, that is very thankful. I mean, I understand it. Very thankful also that we, we are connected to properties and personalities that know how to use Twitter. And that's one thing that is boosting us. Because any of them, the promotions, of course, want to push the things that we're pushing because we're selling their things. And even the wrestlers, on the other hand, you know, even though they don't get a direct cut or anything, uh, if you're a wrestler getting booked in, in, in such company, uh, you want to make sure that DVD with your face on it is going to be selling so you keep getting booked in that company. Uh, so it's a win-win for everybody there, and uh, it's a nice little kind of microcosm, and it helps spread the word, and it's and and it's you know really great. You know, not every property has that built-in kind of uh, community, right? Uh, of, of of okay, yeah, of course I'm going to share this thing, um, and uh, and it benefits everybody. And this comes back around uh, because of this, this has justified some some upgrades that we're going to be doing around here uh, to push some of the uh, local production. Uh, so it's, it's a really, really cool thing to be a part of. So, um, if you haven't checked that, and, and we're doing other things too around that too. We're, we're trying to create some content around the site and those have actually been really good as well. Uh, our friend Matt Carlin's, um, mainstream Matt on the Twitters, he's been doing this around the Indies article, uh, lately, uh, over there. And it's just a general, not just stuff that we cover. It's really just kind of taking a look around independent wrestling and see, you know, what was good over the weekend. And uh, a very good use of multimedia. If there's any uh, Twitch videos or Instagram videos or anything like that, he's inserting those into the post. So it's a kind of a multimedia thing. And you actually get to see some of what happened over the weekend, some of the highlights, some of the lowlights, you know, whatever the case may be. And you look through and there's a lot of names in there, you know, oh, People that we carry on the site, uh, people that, uh, that 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 you've seen in on TV and are, are not anymore, and um, and again, just kind of it, it draws some people in, gives them something to read. You know, I, I do want the site to not just be, hey, here's the stuff we're selling. I want it to be about indie wrestling in general, uh, around that at least, uh, just to kind of be part of the community and not just a place to shill stuff. And, uh, and I think that's going to be really important for, for the site. And, and maybe there'll be a whole point where there's a section of it kind of like a Wrestling Mayhem show where, like, here's all this content over here that we're generating 
you know that is useful content i hope you come for that come for that and then uh, hey look we have a sale here you know i mean i mean that's i think that's the kind of synergy uh that we want to accomplish here and and also we are posting our indie mayhem show over there uh which which makes a lot of sense because it is talking about a lot of stuff it's talking about a lot of people that are on a site that we're selling dvds for so completely makes sense and and a lot of interaction i know jimmy Corderas was sharing the show um here um uh, sharing, sharing the tweets about the uh the, the sale this past weekend and again he's still got a lot of pull he's still sitting there if you're watching on a monday nights uh during raw follow his twitter account because he's got commentary all night long uh last i knew i don't think he does that anymore but he was doing a television show in canada he's from around the toronto era area and uh and say he was a wwe referee for I said 20 to 30 20 years 20 25 years something like that um, you know, he's, he's referee matches at WrestleMania undertaker, you know, the, like, you know, it's really funny to go back on network, but like, you know, find the errors of how much hair he had throughout WWE history and really, really cool guy to work with on the project. Um, but, uh, another big one that really got that out there. And I saw a lot of hits off of that and, uh, really, really appreciate everybody that helped that out. And again, this helps push the, 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 the agenda and push it bigger and hopefully get more indie wrestling out there to more people because this is indie wrestling. This is not WWE. They do, nobody has the budget behind them and every little bit helps to get that awareness and get new fans and, and serve them this content that we've been doing for, for, for years now. We have a big back catalog and, uh, and, and I hope to expose it to more people. So a really good Black Friday on our end. It's really interesting to be on this side of the coin instead of being on the buying or the retail uh, lackey side, I guess, uh, as I have in the past on both of those. So so uh, please check it out if you haven't yet. IndieWrestling.us, see what we're doing over there. And, uh, and let me know what you think. How was your Black Friday? Were you part of a property that had to be involved in Black Friday somehow? Maybe you're said, maybe your podcast is selling T-shirts or something, and you tried to do something interesting. Uh, tell me about your successes, your failures, and how somebody got you. What was your most impressive thing you saw on Black Friday? And hopefully, it wasn't that long line at Best Buy. Uh, check us out at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the blog. Sign up for the newsletter over there. Uh, and you can get some more uh, write-ups and tricks and such. Last week, uh, Missy wrote about her uh, experience with Startup Weekend Pittsburgh and Sila, who won third place. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk with you guys about that. Hopefully, though, yeah, maybe we'll do something about that this week. But go read that in the meantime about her experience and go for, vote for them if the voting's still open in the Great Americans or Great Startup Battle. <laughs> Great America, I think it's worldwide. Global Startup Battle, I think it's called. Uh, tweets, or t- uh, blah. Uh, links for those over at sorgatron.com and in the newsletter. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.